Hey everybody, it's uh, Ronnie here. Um, it's Saturday. It is my uh, let's see here, sixteenth day, seventeenth day in the hospital. Um, good day. Uh, good news is I feel better today than I did yesterday, um, <clears throat> and hopefully I'll feel even better tomorrow. The prednisone is definitely working as it should. And uh, I hope to continue to, you know, make some progress. I've only taken a one one thousandth of a dose of Cipro because uh, they wanted to make sure I wasn't allergic to it. And I was supposed to take another dose today, a full dose, with some antihistamine. But that didn't happen. And that's what I'm going to talk about today on this Sound Off Saturday. But before that, let me also say that I had a great... Uh, talk and chat with a fellow uh, sister who uh, just uh, got discharged today. I was able to talk with her and her mom before they left, um, and uh, it was a very encouraging, uh, positive conversation. And of course, I'm always thankful when I can uh, kind of talk to the younger fibros and sisters out there about the importance of taking care of themselves now uh, so it will pay off dividends in the future. Uh, but so that was all the good and positive and happy stuff. But now let's get to the uh, the crux of this, which is sounding off on Saturday. So here's what happened today. Well, actually, three days ago, I felt my pick line, which usually is dangling down in the heart. I felt it flip up into my neck and sit below my ear canal, which has happened before. Um, and I usually give it a couple days because sometimes it makes its way back into where it's supposed to be. And uh, so I won't say anything. But I finally uh, said something today. And um, the uh, my nurse <clears throat> called to get uh, x-ray or called the attending doctor to uh, listen to what was going on. And... Somewhere lost in translation, uh, the <laughs> ball was uh, dropped again. You, we all know how it goes. Dropped somewhere, and um, it took about four hours to get uh, x-ray done, um, which I told them it was there. It's happened before. Um, and I just told them I needed just to go down to IR, that they'd take a picture of it, and then to solve the problem, it's pretty interesting. They fill up a big syringe full of saline, and they basically push it as hard as they can through the pick line, and somehow it just pops right back down into the heart. Uh, I've actually watched it um, on the uh, you know the X-ray, <clears throat> and it's pretty amazing how it works. Um, and then of course it plays some tricks with your heart because of all that fluid rushing to it, so you kind of feel like you're going to pass out, and it's kind of cool but kind of scary um certainly wouldn't recommend it but it's what they got to do so um of course finally they get the x-ray back sure enough they're just amazed that i can feel where it is they're amazed that i was right and they call down to ir uh to get you know the procedure done and ir says so sorry uh basically if i would have called earlier, would have had a much better chance, but there's people ahead of me now, and they're closed during the weekend, so they're going to have to do it on Monday. So what does that mean? That means that I can't get antibiotics uh, through my pick line um, at all this weekend, and so they're going to have to start a peripheral IV in my trusty uh, hose of a vein here, and I'm going to be running antibiotics through through here and hopefully get this uh, problem solved on Monday, which again, there are bigger fish to fry and certainly larger problems in the world. Uh, but it certainly can get frustrating. Um, when at 29 years of doing this, <clears throat> I think I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just get nurses that, uh, don't have any, any urgency in them. And it's kind of like talking to a, uh, a brick wall, but uh, it happens. Uh, there's certainly nothing you can really do about it. Uh, you just got to keep your uh, chin up, uh, keep moving forward, 
Um, so that's what we did. We just, uh, we did a lot of wee bowling. Uh, we did a lot of hanging out. We went and took a, a pretty good walk. Uh, did about f 10 flights of stairs. So uh, again, I'm uh, feeling good. Um, moving forward, uh, they're going to have to run the antibiotic about 10 days. So I'll probably be in here at least another 10 days uh, and I'll get these PFTs up. Uh, but I just thought I'd uh, share kind of what's going on with you guys and actually take the opportunity to sound off. Don't want you to think, though, I'm, I'm being negative. Certainly not. Just uh, telling you what uh, happened today. So have a good Saturday, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.